Hey everybody, welcome to basic video and in this how to basic video I'm going to show you how to use the formulas in Google Sheets, so follow along. And in this example you need to have a table of information, so just like in any math problem that you've probably seen a hundred different times, certain people eating certain pieces of pizza, so, or how many slices did everyone eat? Let's say Bob ate two slices, Jeff ate two, Katie ate three, Sarah ate two, Tony ate one. Let's just use that as just some random sampling. Those are some random names. And this is pizza slices and number, um, sorry, names and number of pizza slices. I spelled that wrong. Oh well, you get the point. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to add some formulas to this information. So here's our table. We can go ahead and border this table if we want to make sure, hey, this table is really important. Now let's go ahead and then we can do this little arrow key to make sure everything fits. Let's go ahead and add, let's, let's see how many pieces of pizza, how many slices they ate in total. So if we do total and then right here we can click the sum button, which is the same as like a total button. And then it's going to say equals sum, parentheses, whatever. So you need to drag all of the, the slices you want to include, press the enter button, and there you go. So the total amount of pizza eaten was 10 slices. Now let's say, well, on average, how many, how many slices did each person eat? So we can go here, we can go to the average button, and we can highlight all of these. Remember, don't, hide, don't highlight the things outside of the box, so don't highlight the total or we'll throw things off. So on average, people were eating two slices of pizza each. Another cool one we can do is max. So what's the max amount of pizza slices that someone ate? So here we can write maximum, and then we can do equals, or we can just click it right here, click max, and then we can highlight all the ones in the table again. So the maximum was three, that was Katie that had three slices. What about the minimum, who ate the minimum? We can click right here, men, highlight them all again. And we know that the minimum eaten was one, and that was by Tony. There's also the count one. So if count in this case is going to work the same as sum, but it can be differently. So let's just, let's say we want to count everything, just so you can have an idea of what count equal or what count does. So we can click count. So it's a little different than sum because count is just gonna count the amount of people involved. So right now, if, if we counted this, and we have Bob, Jeff, Katie, Sarah, and Tony, that's five people. And that's what count's gonna show us. Count's gonna say, hey, you have five different data values here. So it's a little different than sum, where sum's gonna count the number of pizza slices, count will add the number of people. So you can also count, like let's say we did equal count, we can count these names right here, and it's going to give you a weird value. So make sure you're counting numerical values. I hope that helps with functions and formulas and it makes it sound a little easier for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Otherwise, I am signing out.